If you were looking to be an evil prick and do damage, you could do it with this. No one's talking about banning that kind of firearm. Why? Because it's wood. We're going to debunk today. Let's go through the top AR-15 myths because every, that's what everyone is talking about. So first, question of the day, what do you think? Uh, is this really about banning AR-15s after this shooting? Do you think that'll work or is it, is it a Trojan horse? I genuinely want to know because right now, and it seems whenever there's a public shooting, they, they pick a topic and right now it is AR-15, that's enemy numero uno, um, as opposed to going after all guns, which I think is a little bit of a bait and switch. So let's, this has been making the rounds everywhere. Things like this regarding the AR-15, here's a woman. Only way that I can know for sure that this gun will never hurt anyone is if it doesn't exist. I'm not going to let the Second Amendment anymore be used as an excuse for considering children as collateral damage in this country. The only way to ensure that her inanimate object did not harm somebody. <laughs> it makes sense that we found the rifle in question. Yeah, oh, she had to be. Oh, yeah. It's shifty. Of course. Of course. And then this has been making the rounds. This guy uh, destroying his AR-15. It's everywhere. It's all over Facebook and Occupy Facebook, Democrats for Bernie Sanders, whatever. Watch. When do we make laws that say maybe a weapon like this isn't acceptable in today's society? Is the right to own this weapon more important than someone's life? There's so many of them out there. Walk well, now. There's one less. No, there is one more highly illegal rifle. <laughs> <laughs> highly, highly, <laughs> highly, illegal highly illegal rifle. rifle that no longer fits the government's requirements. I hope someone sends somebody after him. Now, I know obviously the spirit of it is a sawed off shotgun because of the spread, but still, you're not allowed to do that. Sir. Sawed off shotguns, by the way, also, most places, very. No, 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 yeah, that, that's the point. That's why they're illegal. But I, the fact that that, I don't think that was his gun. No, the fact that he knows so little about firearms and firearm safety, I do not. I believe he borrowed an AR. I believe he borrowed a <laughs> fake AR-15 and the Illuminati did. That was the kel AR-15. Yes. <laughs> so let's go through the, the, the top claims that you usually hear about AR-15s. Uh, myths. Myth number one. AR-15s are the most deadly firearms in the world. C certainly the most deadly available to the public. We've been hearing this a lot lately. This sort of claim made by someone like Senator Nelson. Here you go. You're looking at somebody who supports the Second Amendment. They always preface the right it that to bear way. arms. I grew I'm up to guess here in Florida on a ranch. I have always had right. guns since I was a little boy. I have hunted all my life. I still hunt with my son. But an AR-15 is not for hunting. It's for killing. Well, how do you hunt? Because <laughs> <laughs> that kills too. I, I don't like to kill my prey. I no. just like to just wound them. Wound when I the go hell out after a grizzly, I just want to get it really pissed off, <laughs> <laughs> so that it'll kill me. <laughs> and of course, this echoes a statement that the the notorious statement now that was made by uh, Joe Biden not that long ago. You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim. It's harder to use. And in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Is that a fact? My shotgun. Oh. By a shotgun yeah. and fire indiscriminately into the air. Yeah. So it's clear they have a gang raped by 30 people. Yes. <laughs> First off, guns are killing tools. Okay, and this yeah. is why I think this is All important. They're killing tools. So if you're just gonna ban one because you're saying it's more effective at killing, it's not about the AR-15. It's that you you want to ban firearms. And I really do believe that's the overall agenda here, and I'll get to why. Because even with just rifles, we're talking about AR-15s. But just rifles, there are plenty of firearms out there that are more dangerous than AR-15s. If you're just talking about saving one life, there are plenty more rifles that are semi-automatic that can carry as much ammo as AR-15s, that use ammunition that's as powerful or more powerful than the AR-15. The 223 is, it's, it's not anything formidable. Some argue it's basically a varmint round. It's really, it's lighter for the military to carry. Some examples of these firearms. No one's talking, for example, about the Ruger Mini 30. It looks unassuming enough, except that's the same firearm on the bottom. That's the exact wow. same gun. Oh, by the way, it fires the same caliber as an AK-47. Mm. Ooh, what's that? Uh, something, have you heard anyone talk about banning what is commonly used for deer hunting or certainly bird hunting, semi-automatic shotguns? Have you heard them talk about that? No, this is what they can do. Now, let's look, no, let's look at the side-by-side -side damage in a ballistics gelatin test from a 12 gauge versus a 223. Now, some people are gonna get mad at me saying, don't do this, little one's gonna wanna take away the, the 12 gauges now. <laughs> Don't blame me, okay? <laughs> they are, these facts wow. are what they are. Don't blame me. Semi-automatic, uh, not even rifles, now handguns. Glock 17. Mm. It's used by law enforcement. Glock 17, 19, I think it's the most popular uh, firearm platform in the world. In the world. Yep, period. 17 rounds in that magazine. Wow. Do you hear people talking about banning those? Finally, my favorite, one of my favorite firearms that I have, this is a basic lever action. So this is actually one of the few that's not semi-automatic because it's lever action. This uh, holds 13 rounds of 357 Magnum, arguably the most effective handgun 
round, no demand, don't yeah. get into a caliber war right now, it's that much more effective when coming out of a longer rifled barrel. Just how fast could you shoot this firearm? Here's a world record. <laughs> Granted, he's the exception, not the rule. <laughs> But realistically, 13 rounds of 357 Magnum, myself, you've shot with this one. Yeah, with me. What it's can, fantastic. Let's say watermelon, shoot. unloaded, just to make sure you know. Yeah. Uh, watermelon sized target at 50 yards, how fast could you shoot this? Probably about. If you were looking to be an evil prick and do damage, you could do it with this. No one's talking about banning that kind of firearm. Why? Because it's wood. <laughs> Little maple never hurt anybody. It looks less assaulty. It looks less assaulty. Yeah. It doesn't have the googly eyes on it. So <laughs> myth number two, and this is one that's, well, it's really fast. Let's just skim over this. That AR stands for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite. Armalite. That's the company you came up with. It, it's, it's an unfortunate acronym for their, their that's name. That's it. But, you know. <laughs> just, we're not going to provide any more. Google it. So myth number three, that the, the AR-15 is an automatic rifle. You hear this a lot. So it's, you don't need it. It's the most dangerous firearm out there. It's an automatic rifle rifle. Claimed by the media, here's Don Lemon saying just that. I think most people can go out and buy an automatic weapon. Well, Don, what is your, I don't what understand is your definition your of, so? an, auto, what is your definition of an automatic weapon? What is your definition of an automatic uh, weapon? Uh, well, for me, an automatic yeah, weapon is something that you can shoot about. off a, a number of rounds, a number of rounds very quickly. I was able to buy Done. an AR-15. It, an <laughs> for me. <laughs> There's for an me actual definition. Personally. My truth my about truth. assault <laughs> weapons. Yeah. Personally, for Donnie. It's like, you can buy a Scud missile at your local 7-Eleven, but, but, but Don Lemon, that's just a hot tamale. For me. For me, but, but personally. For me. It's a Scud missile. It's 20 true. minutes later after it's I true. eat it, it's a Scud. That's how they hedge it. Uh, Bernie, by the way, Bernie Sanders categorized, uh, he, he, he characterized the Orlando, the six hour, in the same way. Here you go. And I got to tell you, you know, over 25 years ago, I believe that in this that's country, not distortion. That's just his not voice. <laughs> Are automatic weapons which are designed to kill people. He didn't chew on frogs. You would prefer a weapon that isn't designed to kill people? Here's the thing, you want a gun that doesn't kill? You want a gun that isn't effective for hunting? That's what, either you want guns or you don't. Either you believe someone has the right to protect yeah. themselves or you don't. You can't say, I believe you have the right to protect yourself, but not if it's a firearm that can kill people. <laughs> Mame is yeah. okay. Because in a life and death situation, you want something that isn't going to work. I, I just, I, it's, the, 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 there, there are two factions when it comes to the gun control argument. And that, listen, horrible tragedy, get it. On, no one here wants more mass shootings, okay? So we're all just, you see, it's time to have a conversation. We've been having this conversation every single day on this show, and so we've been having it in the gun community for a long time. You're late to the party. All right? That's what's happening right here. You're just, it's not a new conversation. You just don't know what you're talking about. There are two factions. People who own firearms or who have ever fired firearms, and the uninformed. And that's the gun control crowd. That's it, there's no in between. Now the truth is that the Air 15, it's not an automatic, it's a semi-automatic. Now most people, they don't really, they, that semi is just a race, they hear automatic, right? And they just perk up. <laughs> semi-automatic just means you pull the trigger once and one bullet comes out. So for the record, m all pistols pretty much effectively are semi-automatics, okay? And the shotguns that I just showed you, a lot of rifles that I just showed you, a lot of 22s, revolvers are not technically semi-automatic, but they act as semi-automatic. Right, they're double action revolvers. You pull the trigger once and one bullet one, comes one out. Round but it's the same, it, for, for all intents and purposes, it's the same ultimate effect. So when you use the term, we need to ban these semi-automatics, well, what, hold on, you're talking about everything. You're not just talking about AR-15s. No. You're talking about everything. All right, myth number four. AR-15s or similar rifles are, are responsible for most gun violence. This is something you hear a lot. The truth, according to the FBI itself, you're four times as likely to die from being knifed to death than you are from being shot by a rifle. In 2016, handguns that's killed- That's all rifles, too. That's all rifles. And in 2016, handguns killed roughly 19 times as many people as all rifles put together. Again, I know people say, well, then we just need to ban handguns. Exactly, that's my point. You're either talk, you're not talking about banning the AR-15, because if we're talking about, it's time to get practical about gun control and time to come up with solutions, Real talk, here's the final myth that we talk, th th this is the big one, this is the crux of it. AR-15s, this idea that they're the weapon of choice for mass shooters, because that's what they're telling you right now. Listen, we support the Second Amendment, but this is the choice of, why should people be able to get, we could eliminate mass shootings if we just got rid of the weapon of choice for mass shooters. Here's a claim from CNN's uh, pool boy in chief, Chris Cuomo. The shootings uh, that we've seen with this. It just keeps being used for these massacres because of all of these features I just told you about it being easy to use and all this fire and the caliber bullet and all the damage it can do. 
<laughs> literally everything wrong about every myth that we just went through. He just, just summed it up. Just summed the whole thing. Up. All the fire Features. and, and the, all the caliber. <laughs> you pull the trigger, a bullet comes out. We can't have that. <laughs> it's what? a semi-automatic. That's the rate of fire. And the caliber isn't any more powerful than most hunting rounds. You dumbass. The New York Times, by the way, did a review on weapons used in recent mass shootings. More recent mass shootings. 11 out of 19 didn't use rifles of any sort. Okay. Virginia Tech was handguns. There are no AR-15s in Virginia Tech. So... This isn't really an indication that limiting AR-15 style guns would specifically have an impact on such any of these killings. This is the thing. that You have to go with the premise, okay, we're pro-Second Amendment, but can we find common ground just banning AR-15s? Why? Well, because they, they're the most dangerous? That's not true. They have a caliber? That's, that's not true. And they're used in most mass shootings? That's not true. None of those things are true. So why are we talking about banning the AR-15? What was the Assault Weapons Ban Act? Was that just about the AR-15? What did it extend to? This is the thing that people need to, need to understand. You can watch everything that's been presented here, okay? And you can, this is what I think, and that's why I want you to comment below. People right now I know are just panicking, going, don't show people how easy it is to use a lever action rifle because then liberals are gonna want to ban that. Or go, don't show them how, how popular the clock 17 is with 17 rounds because they're going to want to ban that. And then people on the other side are going, I had no idea. I just want to ban that gun and that gun and that gun. Everything he just talked about, let's ban revolvers. Here's the truth. You can look at all of the information presented, the factual information that we've presented here today and respond one of two ways. Okay, maybe I was wrong about the AR-15 and potentially fire arms in general, or you can watch this video and say, we just have to ban all the things. <laughs> there is no in between. You have to pick one. One is constitutionally justifiable. One isn't. You just have to find out where you line up and be honest about it. Just don't go out telling everyone that it's just about the scary black rifle or the AR-15 because it's not. Hey, did you like this video? It, what you didn't? Oh, you're a cat person? Well, that makes sense. Disregard him and or her slash Z. Everyone else, hit the subscribe button and leave your comment below as to why you like this video. Hey, you know what, crazy cat, you can get back, you can, you can comment below too as to why you don't like it.